What's going on? Something I have touched base on before and I'm super excited to actually kind of uh, relive it. As I've said before, I'm replaying Final Fantasy VII Remake and I have said before how I didn't really like it when it initially released. Replaying it, I also realized I forgot a bunch of things and did not finish everything. Did not unlock Bahamut or Bahamut, whatever you want to call him. I call him Bahamut, so suck my dick. But Bahamut was not unlocked for me and I never got to use him. When I finally booted back up, Got to the point where the kid that does all the VR missions, I found out that he was ready to be unlocked. So I beat him, took him, and now I get to use him. And he's pretty cool. It's really neat to actually see him. Now, I also forgot how great this game looks, even for being a few years old. And also, yes, I'm playing on PS5. It's still really cool to see. But the voice actors and the cinematic cutscenes, they all really feel and look how I thought they were when I was a child. It's just one of those games where you definitely are reliving it as far as how you would you know, visually think it. As a child, I don't know anybody else, but when I was playing it, it really felt like that. Because, I mean, back then, those graphics were amazing for what you had, especially the uh, cutscenes. But I have to say, replaying it, I am not replaying it from the beginning. It's a new game plus, so I definitely have a lot of things already unlocked. I'm not playing it from level one, but it does not take away from the story. Now, that was something I was a little bummed about. When I heard Remake, I was expecting, and even though it was going to be a multi-part series, I was expecting the same game. Not the overhead, but the new gameplay, just with the same story, and not to mention it was going to be multiple parts, uh, that didn't bother me so much. I have to say, now that I see the new direction and I've actually warmed up to it, I'm super excited and very ecstatic just to see where it's going to go. And I think it should go without saying, I've played Final Fantasy VII many times on many different consoles since the PS1 era. I've made sure I've been able to play it on every console. There's two PS1 games that I've kept in my library that I've made sure I could play all the time. That was Final Fantasy VII and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. While I've loved Zelda my whole life and I've definitely played it a lot, Final Fantasy VII had its own little spot considering it's its own story. Such a well-done story and well-drawn cast. I mean, you really got to think about it. They've had multiple different things spawn from just this one game. And while I've been replaying it, it's really just made me fall in love with it all over again. Not to mention the voice actors have brought them to life so well. You got to look at the overall. I mean, the actual character designs are pretty much a good nice upgrade from them the voice actors are damn near right on perfect playing it from the beginning again and seeing the train intro fighting the red scorpion metal mech and not to mention the dlc which i finally got to beat it's gonna be really cool to see dirge cerberus uh villains pop up now it only showed two of them and only two of them are really you know fightable and i'm wondering what they're gonna actually have anything to do with the new one so and i know this is gonna sound stupid i've kept myself completely unexposed to anything to do with the DLC or any, you know, new cinematic videos or anything to do with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth as much as possible. A lot of the things that I took a guess at that might come forward was things from my own personal experience. Like when I said Zack was going to come back, I actually didn't know that was in the video uh, on the DLC. That's something I completely was surprised I was even right about. And of course, all the other ones are going to be pretty much to be determined. I'm ready to see how far we actually get to go in the story. Because normally, for me to remember the areas uh, as far as how far I made in the story, the three discs made it pretty simple that you get to this one part, insert the next disc. That's how I'm trying to remember this. So it's going to be really cool to see how far. And also, if nobody remembers the swamp monster, that big snake, I'm ready to see how badass that thing's going to be. Not to mention you're already level 50, or maybe will be. At least I am in this one. I don't know if that's going to carry over. And if it does, I'm pretty sure it's going to make it significantly easier. I'm just wondering what all could possibly be, you know, transferred over. Considering the fact we went from 4 to 5 and it easily transferred, I'm pretty sure a lot of the save data should transfer to this one. Now to go on to a little bit more details. I Going through the cities themselves, as far as the slums, all the details that I got to see was just really good to re-see. Um, Seventh Heaven was amazing. It's really good, really well detailed. Looks exactly how I would love it to look in the whole actual 4K 3D environment. This is something that just really gets me excited. Not to mention, we're literally a month away. One month, and then we get to play Rebirth, which is only part two. Hopefully, we don't have to wait another five years for, you know, the next one, which it ain't been five years, but close enough. It's been four. And hopefully, we don't have to wait four more years. I'm just hoping it'll be maybe a year or two. And for the ending, which I have not gotten exactly to yet, because I will be finishing it today. But playing through it reminded me of all the, uh, what I call the timeline ghosts. I can't even remember what their actual name was, but... It was, I completely forgot about them, and then replaying it, it's a little jarring to play because of them, because, you know, I'm, ex you know, I know this story from the old way, and then playing the new one, it kind of made me forget, 
but I still like that some of the characters, the way they would, you know, twist the story around to get you to follow the path. And then pretty much all of it is supposed to break in the end. This is going to be really interesting to see. And of course, that reminded me of the end of the game. When you go into the giant orgy of ghost future time stopping monsters from Harry Potter, and then you basically have what kind of reminded me of a Kingdom Hearts 3 boss battle. It was like fight, fight, cutscene, fight, fight, very epic cutscene over and over, which that's pretty much what they're getting down to now is where it's mostly a little bit of fight, cutscene, you're definitely going to mash buttons. And I don't know if I like that as much, but it's still can't really do nothing about it. But the overall story is going to be really cool, and that's what I'm waiting on. So yeah, that's something that I've been touching up on. But tell me what you think. Who's ready for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? What do you think the difference is as far as how good is this compared to the old one, or is the old one not just nostalgic, but actually just superior? But yeah, that's about all I got to say. Y'all have a good one.